Hello everyone, it's Budgeting by Me. I'm really happy you're here and I'm having for you another video. I make this channel to be accountable with my own budget and keeping myself in line with spendings and with saving money as well. So, small information about me, I'm 30 year old woman living with my housemate in apartment in a city center of not very big city in the um, um, UK but quiet enough so you can hear loads of ambulances, uh, sirens and uh, taxis and peoples and everything like this and here in some corners you might hear you might see a tail of a small baby cat that is currently with me and he's on a table so at least I hope he's looking at me now and he's like ready to get in the in a video like every single time we'll miss him in a month when he will go back home Boy. anyway guys i want to do today a cash stuffing of a sinking funds so this binder that i bought in amazon is going on a side so i i don't know if you watch my video um, about april recap but like a checkup and uh it was quite devastating with the numbers um but i was expecting month completely out of the blue and what i have here oh actually we have a really good colors so after the whole month when i was planning i was planning to have zero on my sinking fund then during the month i already did one cash stuffing that was amount of 346 pounds something like this so i did a bit of sinking funds emergency fund and debt and um, that i already put them in a erasable um, pencil and now i want to do another cash stuffing of a sinking funds the money that they were left over so I was left with £1,715.43, but because like 500 of this is on my bank account, I just want to leave it there as, I don't know, buffer, rollover. I will see how it, I will include it in May budget. And then I want to sink, I want to do a sinking funds for £1,200. And I do understand some of you don't keep money like this in a house and I'm quite thinking what I should do but I feel like if I put any of this money on my bank account I might find a reason to to spend it so let's see how it goes so I um, as I said in my one video I was thinking how to spread this 1200 you probably don't see this properly but I will I will see use um, another pen Anyway, I, I do lo lots of mistakes with writing, so be aware that they might be mistakes. Don't worry. So, I wanted to do a small gift for my niece that she was just born like a week ago, actually. And I figured out I can do something creative. So I gave her, instead of giving her like envelope with money, I gave her like a, like a small um, frame with like a flower. Like she can just replace it with her photos but instead of photos i just gave her the queen <laughs> and i used the 10 pounds notes um so what i did because i didn't have my ca bank cash my atm let's call it didn't give me any tens um i used the tens from here from my sinking funds so i have two binders one i bought on amazon for like 80 8.99 or something like this and he came beautiful with um with envelopes but without the names and this one i bought on an in home bargain because of one of you in a video suggested that oh i bought it for like 2.99 so i did exactly the same i went it and because it was the very very beginning of my cut um, budgeting I, I bought it and I'm actually using the inserts that they were over there as a like a recalculation what I have in the envelopes anyway so I did use all almost all the 10 pounds notes so what I did I put a vacation 10 pounds home 10 pounds and I took from miscellaneous 10 pounds but what I actually did what was very uh, lucky for me i did ha i didn't take um i didn't take the cash out of it like okay i take physically out the cash from the envelopes but i have them here so i just like swap the bills for 20s and uh, i didn't put them yet in the envelopes bag because i just need to swap them for smaller um bills and that would be it so i do i took the hundred pounds from the whole 
envelopes but i put them back in hand like in those money so they are still in a savings so be aware in a video okay so what we're doing today we are stuffing actually 1200 pounds i need to think if i want to keep this money in my house or not but i'm telling you if i will put this money um on my i'm just i'm just changing them around if i will put this money on my bank account um i might find a reason to just spend them and um because i'm emotional spender and if i'm feeling really depressed really less motivated or anything let me give us a i would just find a reason and uh, if i have a cash that is like far away from he me um <laughs> can you see the shadow over here what a baby boy mm, i would just use them and i don't want to do it so you need to believe me it's 1200 um and a small disclaimer i already used 100 so <laughs> i don't have it here with me um because i use it obviously for the gifts so what i'm doing today um and i will prepare my small information so if anywhere i'm lacking of i don't know five pounds notes or ten pounds notes or anything like this i would just put them I'll just make a bit of cleanup i would just put them aside and then i will just um when i just swap the money i will just put them in okay so first things first i bought a car and i'm really really happy with that i already put a 10 pounds note to the car and what happening is i bought the car and i didn't pay for the car so i should have here like one thousand pounds to pay for the car but because my friends several times didn't accept the money um i'm putting 40 pounds on the here and if they want to if my boyfriend actually want to have the money back for the car i will just pay it uh, from a may from may budget um bringing the cash so currently i will have a 50 pounds so i i already put 10 so i put 10 and i'm putting 40 so i will have all together 50 pounds for the car so let's do like this all right so the for car annual i put 85 pounds and i put 85 pounds because when i sorry when i counted how much i pay for my um insurance and for my taxes i realized that because i'm a foreigner and because that's the first car i'm insuring by myself for myself and all of it it might be a very like cheeky moment and i just paid like 1200 pounds 1070 actually pounds for my insurance plus my taxes altogether and it's ah uh, unbelievable so i should be putting like 85 90 pounds inside of this envelope every single month for the next year if if i'm expecting to have a bill like this next year so for now i because i have no pound five pounds notes i will put <laughs> i will put so i already have a um, 10 i want to put 85 so that would be 95 so i will put here i will swap this and i will put here 120s and then i will just make a card that is less than five pounds i know it's confusing some of you but this is life 20 40 60 80 and 100 and because it should be here um actually let's do it let's do a 90 that i put a 90 here so that would be a hundred okay and i'll have a 10 pounds note over here left and for the car maintenance i was planning to put 20 but because i took this five pounds here um 20 i, I plan to put 25 so i will put 20 now and then i will leave this 10 pounds for now because i don't want to okay so 10 pounds here actually 10 and 50 20 30 so i will put 20 plus 30 i had so it's 30 pounds for the maintenance this month and probably in a year the car will need a maintenance and now the most exciting envelope is a business tax so 
um, on my first sinking fund, I put in an envelope 186 pounds and it's because I, I have a, this plan to pay 20% of everything what I earn from my own business aside and I, I prefer to end up in next year saying oh my god I have a 600 pounds that I can distribute between the funds instead of oh my god I need to pay 100 pounds to the taxman I don't got this money so in the first video of my sink, first sinking funds, I had the 930. Um, can you see that 930? Yeah. So I had a 930 pounds, and if you calculate that 20 percentage from it, it was 186. Yeah. So because now I'm getting that's not a very not comfy situation, and because now I earn like last days of the April, I'll earn 3,000 pounds. Well, I earn. I just get them after half a year of earning them. I just get three thousand pounds. The tax is six hundred pounds, and I'm using this a, a bit uh, as an emergency a bit, because if anything happened big in life, I can always always go to this envelope. Um, and what happening is, I know that six hundred pounds is probably half of it, and it will not fit in the envelope. So I'm planning to swap them a bit because they're as well the very very big bills and I I went to Primark and I bought myself a purse and in the purse they had this small tiny black thingy so I'm planning to put um, here my every like 250 360 something like this uh, pounds of business taxes and put them in very safe place because if i will put them in a bank account i'm definitely will use them if i will have a cash at least i know where to find the cash if i need it but yeah so let's see if i have everything from the taxes so 20 40 60 80 100 120 140 160 180 185 186 so that's rec recall that's correct and now 600 pounds oh <laughs> 20 40 60 80 100 20 40 60 80 200 20 40 60 80 300 20 40 60 80 400 20 40 60 80 uh, 500 20 40 60 80 600 Okay, <laughs> I need to count it again in my head. Just in case. <laughs> yeah, so that's the 600 pounds and what I will do to this 600 pounds, I will put 700. So I will put that's 600 for the tax, for the tax, and I want to put 20, 40, 60, 80, 100 from the envelope I already had here. Yeah. So that will be all together. It will be 700, and they will go in my very safe envelope. Very safe. 700 here, and we will put a small tracker where I put them. So that will be uh, 700 pounds put on face of May. <sighs> Sorry for that. Um, a bit. <laughs> Someone called me and I thought I forgot. And uh, that might be another call in a way. Anyway, so I will put a 700 information of 700 pounds is in this envelope. And I will put, I will do a small, like, uh, what's called them? A place holder, ho hoarders, yeah, sure. Place holder, um, to put them inside of envelope and here and here, but for now it will be done. So 700 here, and then they will be left with 20, 80, 40. What 20, 40, 60, 80, 85, 86 pounds in here, so that will be 86 pounds in here. So, ooh, just 700, 
2022 it's inside the black envelope so it's all together um 700 786 pounds i put aside woohoo and now for the business i put aside this month uh, already 10 pounds obviously the 10 pounds not is not here because i use it for the present but it's in a different envelope as i shall show you we have a gift and for the gifts i want to put 150 and i want to put 150 so it will all together be 160 and i already use 100 so i will just do small disclaimer in may so 20 40 right if i'm putting 160 <laughs> if i'm putting 160 and um all together so i don't know i'm confused you now i'm the worst okay <clears throat> let's take this 10 out yeah so in this envelope it should be 160 altogether. yeah cool i already use 100 and um, and i put them in the beginning of the binder in 20s yeah you all saw that so here it should be only 60 going in 20 40 60 60 that's it 60 and actually this 10 pounds knot can come here is it right yeah we can replace it and straight away we can just pop it in 10 pounds yeah so it will be um i'll make a note 160 minus 100 may okay i will go back to this one and i will make this beautiful calculation how everything goes now for the beauty i put this um month 10 pound notes but obviously it's not here beauty yeah 10 pound notes for entertainment i didn't put anything this month entertainment is fun uh, and someone if, if someone asking me why this is not recap with this and um, because those names came with the envelopes and i just didn't change them for me fun fun envelopes entertainment is fun so we put a zero this month to entertainment and health now the health um i already should have a 10 over here i should have a 10 over here but i think i will just change it and instead of putting because i was planning to have a 10 and put 200 inside but what i would think i would do i put 190 and that will make all together 200 that would be nice calculation and this health i will be probably use straight away for things like um and my glasses i need to have a new prescription for the glasses and um glasses means for me glasses sunglasses and safety glasses and everything what i'm looking through so 200 pounds to help 20 40 60 80 100 120 140 160 180 and uh, 200 and this money will be used very well because i will need to pay 25 pounds i believe in spec savers for the test i test or if any you of you have a free link i'm happy to it and then um let's call it and then i will do the need to buy a purse um, perfect glasses so i will finish all those in a second don't worry so this binder is already cash stuff oh no actually we have one more so emergency fund and emergency fund for me will get 60 this month like okay it's got already 20 and 20 is here so that's like a sand and i want to put another 60 so altogether it will be 80 inside i am key on um doing emergency fund very quickly although i believe i have a different goals as well so if anything emergency 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 i have the tax money but emergency fund is the first i want to use before that so it's already there uh, 20 from before 
all right sorry guys um that was the unexpected call where were we emergency fund so i already have a 20 that i put before i want to put another 60 so i'll have all together 80 so 20 40 60 and 80 pounds in emergency fund uh, sorry for the phone calls but uh, family nieces and all you know uh, everything needs to be a priority so that's the one binder done and that will be stuffed and now we're going to another one and let me see what we have in another one so for the vacation 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 holidays i put 10 already and i have it and i'm not putting anything more i just need to replace this money for home i put 10. <gasps> Did I mess it up? I oh, know, okay. Oof. Okay. No, don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. False alarm. Okay, I shouldn't do that. So for home, I have a 10 that is here. For moving out, I put a five pounds already this month and I'm not putting anything more. For closing, I put zero. And for education, I put zero. For miscellany, I put 10 pounds. Where are you miscellany here? <coughs> Sorry. For the membership, I put... Um, for membership, I put zero. And for pet, I put five. For camping, I put zero. And for the debt, um, I took 30 in, 30 in tens. Oh, come on. Open. So I, I, I took 30 in tens and I want to put another 40. So that would be 70 inside. So 20, 40. Everything perfectly fine. And so right now I am missing only just to re swap those money for tens. And that will be it. So I currently this one seventy. So my goal for the debt is three thousand pounds this year. Seventy pounds is not even calling a close, but it's something in the beginning I will do. I'm planning to do loads of overtime during the summer, uh, but my heart is breaking when I need to leave my cat alone for more than ten hours or twelve hours or whatever time. Um, so when I will give him back to my boyfriend, then at least I will know like no animal waiting for me. I don't know. I, I feel cruel to leave him for 12 hours alone. And then I have a one like 40 minutes drive to work and 40 minutes drive from work with the parking spaces and everything. So it's like altogether 14, 15 hours out. I don't want to do it. Maybe I'm weird, but I don't want to do it. Anyway, guys. Thank you very much. We just cash staff at 1,200 pounds and I hope you enjoy it. If you enjoy it, just uh, leave me a like below, a comment below what you think, what kind of security maybe places you have for um, your cash in the house. Um, of course, don't give me the address. Don't, don't get me wrong. Uh, but what kind of places you found a safe in the house and hope to see you in a... Um, check-in of a week number one of may because we have we're closing the month okay wednesday thursday today's thursday i'm recording this on 5th of may and uh, yeah so we have quite a bit this week and we'll see each other next video so guys have a good um end of the week enjoy your day enjoy your work enjoy your family life and if you like what you saw here and uh, you want to support, just subscribe to this channel. I will be very, very grateful and hope to see you soon in my next video. So, bye!